Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved. I'm Axon Evolved, and before we get started, there is a large percentage of people watching this video who are not subscribed. So if you guys could just scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a little red subscribe button. Just click it, turn it gray, and we're all good to go. We're all having a good time. You know, we're all part of the family now. Uh, it really helped me out a lot, and uh, you know, it's completely free. If you don't like the content, you can always unsubscribe later. So with that out of the way, let's hop into this episode. So, there's been, I've, in between the last episode and this episode, I had a, uh, a live stream, maybe two, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I've, I've live streamed just a bit where I did some behind the scenes work. So, if you ever want to check out any of those streams, I stream over on Twitch, you'll find the links now below in the description. Um, and, and we worked on a little bit of stuff. One of the things, right, is uh, this research right here. I've decided to go efficient vein extraction. And originally this cost 512 Molly, 512 Chromium, and you see right here, 512 Compressed Freeze On. So I got the Molly done. I got the Chromium's going right now. You see it going. But we're going to need to work on this right here, Compressed Freeze On. So that's probably, and by probably, I mean, that is the goal of this episode. But there has been a little bit more that's happened in between episodes. So... Let me kind of take you on a tour of what we've done, and then we'll get into what we want to accomplish today. So first, I'm going to do a little quick little teleport and kind of show you guys what's up. So if we're looking around right now, this is this is definitely a new area. And this we're actually in the magma caverns right now. So I've dug a hole down to the magma caverns. And you can see it all nice and hot and glowy right over there. And you might be wondering, well, what, what are we doing down here? Well, this is where you need to go to collect sulfur, compressed sulfur, right? So I'm clearing out an area. I got, you know, I, I ran the power all the way down here. So that's all working out nicely. So we just, we're kind of waiting for this to dig out, give ourselves a little bit of breathing room. But eventually we're going to be setting up a, uh, a particulate filtration system down here to collect the magma or uh, the, the sulfur, the hot air, basically. So let's run to the cold caves and by far this is where most of the work has happened so first things first let's take a look over here disregard that platform for a second you'll notice that i have many 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 more lasers go into this battery well what had you see what had happened was uh we were actually using way too much power right this battery we had actually drained this mark V battery so uh, you know, the reason is we have way more output power going out than we had going in because, you know, we hadn't maxed out uh, this turbine usage yet. So I went ahead and threw in a bunch of Mark III laser energy transmitters with chrome lenses and all that stuff. So we should be pretty good right now. And if you'll remember, this battery chain is actually powering not only all the equipment that we're mining with, but also <laughs> these elevators and these blast furnaces. So quite a bit of stuff coming off of that one battery, but I luckily I think it's we're, we're okay with uh with kind of holding everything down. Now, I did also set up a couple temporary things to help us progress a little. So if we look over here, I actually set up a little chrome block crafter because well, well we need chrome blocks to to build all the particulate filtration stuff. So there is chrome Magnetics over here. Uh, let's get rid of that guy. And unfortunately, our Molly is so slow. I don't know why our Molly is slower than everything else, but it just is. So, do I don't have any on me, right? No. All right, cool. So, that's just, we're, we're kind of just waiting on that, right? And another thing we did during the live stream was we kind of got our defenses a little bit more fleshed out, right? So if you look over here, this is obviously different, right? So same concept, just different implementation. So basically all I've done, uh, I'm going with the strategy of basically centering one of these Mark IV batteries on the line from the CPH, right? Because if you remember... The cryoplasm spawners are all based off of where the, the C5 is. So midway from the C5, like the middle point of the C5 lines up with the middle point of this battery. 
uh, with the idea being that eventually we're going to need to bust this wall out and start fighting our way towards the cryoplasm spawner. So these are kind of just set up to keep the uh, cryoplasm at bay. And it's working pretty well. I'm able to extend it out as I need. And eventually we need to get this a whole, basically a whole perimeter. Or at least where all these intrusions are going. We need to get this set up. Because you can see it even can get to the cryoplasm through the, the walls here. So that's working out pretty well. I've also extended it out a bit. You know, nothing really set up here because there's not... A, this is just like overflow intrusion. But we're going to end up getting some intrusion here in the corner. So I put just a little bit. It's not really bad. But over here... There's our quarry hole. Over here is where I kind of left off because there's quite a bit that needs to happen. You see there is quite a bit. This is this is the biggest section of cryoplasm that we have to fight through. So I, I don't know if... And really, this isn't going to be enough range to get through this. So I can actually kind of show you what we've been doing here. So... These are all spaced about 10 glass blocks apart, right? So if I go one, two, three, four, five, I just come out about five more, four, five, toss a battery down. And we'll kind of let that fill up a bit because then what we do is we just throw on these Lancers. You know, they've got a huge internal power buffer, so they suck all the power out immediately. But then once it fills up, it starts getting to work, right? And then I can just throw a couple more on. Uh, I, I'm using chrome lenses because we need that power transfer. Because these things take a fair amount of power. And I'm really just using this to kind of cut off this larger chunk. And then I'll kind of attack that from probably this side over here. You know, I'll build something temporary to come out here and kind of bust through everything that's left. But I'm really trying to just kind of cut through this. Because this whole structure will probably end up getting taken down. Because this battery is here due to the 128 block limit. And I need to put another battery that goes in line with the C5. And I'm not sure exactly where that line is. But like I said, I want it's probably somewhere in the middle here. And I want the C, the, the I, I want a, a jumping off point for where we're going to be able to uh, take out all the cryoplasm going that way. So... This, we're really just kind of digging this out, expanding it as we need it. Uh, and this is this is the extent, right? I, I got to get all the other corners. In fact, I can just run to the cryo map real quick. And then you guys can kind of see our setup, how everything's looking, right? So we're pretty good on, you can see over there to the, to the I guess the east, um, or to the right of the screen, that, that huge chunk that we've got that we're dealing with. Uh, the corner ones I'm a little less concerned about because they're so far out, but... The ones that, you know, the, the really like the north, the east, and the west, we're going to have to start tackling. And I'm I'm undecided about whether I want to go north or east first. Probably north because I have more infrastructure over there. Uh, attack that cryoplasm spawner first, right? But we can't get much farther with our cryoplasm fighting until we do a little bit more. So if we go over here, back to this platform, you'll notice that I got a bunch of stuff laid out here. This is going to be our particulate filtration uh, setup, right? So I've already gone through, if we look at the inventory, I've made a little bit of stuff. I've got some compressors, I've got some filters, i got storage, and I've got a bottler somewhere. Bottler right there. So I'm going to get this kind of set up. I mean, I, I, I built all this stuff up in between episodes purely to be able to to get this working with you guys. And a, a major reason I need I need to do this right now is because we are actually working on um, more efficient bane extraction. So I've actually gone down, and if you'll notice, I have, where are they? Both, or at least one trencher drill component. The chromium trencher drill I, I, I took off because the, the trencher drill that we're using right now is very inefficient. It takes you know, uh, it wastes a lot of material, basically. So the new trencher drill, that, the Mark II that we're going to end up using, will give us double the ore per per cycle, I guess. So uh, let's get this 
particulate filtration setup going. And I know we're going to need filters, we're going to need compressors, we're going to need storage, and then we're going to need bottlers, right? So, first things first, I don't have enough to fully max this system out. This is about a one half of a setup that we can use. So these signify all the filtration, all the filters, and it'll be two filters stacked on top of each other. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight filters. This is a compressor, and one compressor can handle four filters, right? So one, two, three, four per compressor. And a mirrored on the other side, and this is the the bottler, or the, the storage. The storage can uh, attack, uh, handle four compressors, right? So if if we were to max this out, this would all be mirrored on this side. So we're not worried about maxing it out just yet. So first things first, I'm going to throw down the storage, right? Uh, what is it? Three by three by seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there we go. So there's the gas storage. It does not have a, uh, a compressor or anything attached to it, right? So you can see that there's the, the four entrances right there. But one other thing that I <laughs> forgot about until right now, we need fluid pipes. And I think those are in here. Yeah, fluid pipes. And luckily we've got the blocks to build them. So uh, I'm gonna actually just build about that many of those. Hopefully that's enough. We, we definitely need more blocks. For example, I've only got one filter. So this is gonna go incredibly slow because this is like a huge, uh, a huge machine. So just, you know, gonna be a pain. All right, so one, one particulate filter. Now, the way these blocks are set up, the, the, you see here, let me, let me show you the power situation, right? So it's just a couple of Mark IV batteries. And I'm just using regular lasers. If I have to, I can use conduits, right? And they're all getting power. They're all shooting power up because I'm going to eventually put uh, some power storage blocks. You know, one touching this face and one higher up to touch the higher filter when we get it, right? So uh, I, I guess for now, let me just put that there. And I'll put this here because the next ones are going to go up higher and I'll just do that and that just so that whenever it happens, we're ready. So now I'm going to throw a compressor down and these are just three by threes, right? All right. So there's the compressor. Now, if we look at the compressor, the compressor actually has two pipe ports, right? There's one in the middle here and one at the bottom. So if I go and I throw on my fluid pipes, uh, straight and bend, right? I can just do something like this, bloop, and I will toss in the one that goes up right there. So now you can see this is already starting to do its thing. And then we're gonna need to uh, connect these up. And let me think, I, I think that'll be fine. We'll just do it just like that. So there we go. We're, we're already kind of doing our thing, you know? And I think, well, I know that this, whoops, this doesn't need any, uh, the bottler doesn't need any power. So let's throw the bottler down. It's three by three by nine. So um, let me, let me kind of do it this way. And I, I'm not sure exactly where, where it's got to go. Uh, let me just offset it ever so slightly. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. And boom. So you can see there is a hookup right here. And then we'll just literally attach that. And it'll be doing its thing. Now, I believe it outputs on these. Like, like one of them will output faster than the other. So it looks like that's the one that outputs fastest. So we'll just leave that there. And now we, we're collecting freeze on right now. We've already got three of them, right? So all that's left to do, right? This is a pretty 
self-contained system. In order to expand this, I need another compressor and as you know, way more particulate filters. And like I said, those can be uh, stacked, which really makes this a nice compact setup. So what I'm gonna do right now is actually save up the blocks I have. In fact, can I make another particulate filter? Let me see here, that is right here. Particle filter, I need, what am I short? The chromed machine blocks, of, of course, right? Uh, but I think I have about 500 buildings. So these are like not cheap. You know what I mean? These are these are definitely not cheap to make. And I know there's mods that kind of rebalance some recipes, but you know we're, we're playing vanilla-ish right now. So uh, what I can do actually is throw in way more chrome because I've actually cut off the chrome like I said. I've cut off the chrome blocks because, um, yeah, I'll just do them 100 at a time just for now. I cut off the chrome mining because that vein is only about 2 million or so. And the other vein, the molly vein is like 63 million. So that can run inefficiently for a while. And the chrome can't. So we're just kind of waiting right so let me throw more of these in here i set it up to all be hand fed just because you know it's a it's an easy way to control the amount that's made so i'm gonna let this all build up and start building more stuff and then i'll bring you guys back once i have kind of enough to put on more filters or i might even just put on the filters and kind of show you the results and uh then we'll start to look at the large vein extraction research because hopefully it'll be going faster by then all right, ladies and gentlemen, quick update. So as I'm waiting for things to uh, get set up, apparently once I did the particulate filtration, we just got a surge of cryoplasm. And I mean, it's like close, close. If I, if I come over here, I gotta be careful because I, I kind of set this temporary blockade up. You see, th this happened in a matter of, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 minutes, so uh, we really need to, uh, I'm starting to try to fight it back. I don't know how effective that's going to be. I need to expand that to cut it off. So I'm definitely going to be uh, working on that in the short term. I may have to do some like emergency cryo bombers. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, it looks like that's the one real tentacle that came out. Uh, and it looks like it's actually starting to come out from over here too. I guess uh, setting up the particulate filtration has really, uh, oh my gosh, look at that. Has really, wow, that is so fast. Well, crap. Uh, okay, so going into overdrive, yeah, gonna have to Falcor bombers or something. So let me take a look at how to build those. Uh, Falcor bombers, that is in here, maybe? Bomber Falcor. Okay, I have a bunch of Falcors, and then I have the... Uh, bomber creators in here. Let me see. Cryo bomb assemblers. So what does that take? A random hopper. Let me just throw one down. Compressed sulfur. Crap. We are not making compressed sulfur. Uh, so we're going to have to try to fight this off with walls or something. I don't know. I might have to just build a wall until I can get more infrastructure built because <laughs> this is uh, this is getting a little crazy. Yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna build a wall like right here or so. And as I'm building this wall, one thing I don't know, and maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments, um, if I cut off, so for example, if I were to kind of break through the cryoplasm over here, would those tendrils still be able to expand or would I, or would they need to be connected to the main mass? I mean, that's, that's what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to just kind of break it off and kind of hope that works. But, uh, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little wary at this point. So, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. All right. Another quick update. So I've done a little bit more, right? So we're expanding this out. We're kind of fighting it back. Uh, I've expanded the line out there to try to cut off that. And then over here, you can see I kind of like supplemented and ran a, a bunch of uh, a, another battery conduit combo. 
uh, to a battery here, and we're slowly, slowly trying to fight this back, right? So I, I don't have the, the infrastructure along the wall over there, so I'm going to have to go this way. And, you know, luckily that's pretty simple. I mean, it's just a matter of, like, spacing everything out. So I'm basically just extending this as much as I can, plopping on a battery, and then uh, once it charges up, throwing on some Lancers. So it, this is going to be slow, tedious work, and it doesn't help that we're producing Freeze-On very slowly. But it seems like the Surge has kind of stopped itself. Um, I guess it's just when you place down the... Hold on. These batteries look like they're low, and I wonder why. Hmm. What else is taking from these batteries? Anything? What? Why? Why? Why are these not going? Where is my fuel? Okay. Yeah. So lots of things going on right now. Uh, we're trying to get it all figured out, and then uh, <laughs> hopefully we get it figured out soon. So funny story. When I went to remove all of the the turbine and everything over there, I completely. Forgot to keep my my fuel matter movers hooked up. So all the matter movers that were was pushing fuel over to the elevators were are, are just gone. So uh, definitely need to hook those back up. But luckily, that seems like a simple enough fix. So now it's just a matter of tossing this battery down. And then I should hopefully... Now, does that see what it needs? I don't know if that's too far for it. It might be, but I also think we can steal from this. Uh, let me see. This is at 2. And as long as this is at 70 or less, should see it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, fuel should be going back to the turbines. It's going to fill this up. You know what? I, th I should probably make this path shorter, honestly. Here, let me actually... I think I have some fuel on me. Yeah, let me throw all that down there. That way, there's not so much held up in the system, you know? And then once the empties make their way back, they should be... Should be transmitting themselves. How much? So 43. That one problem I'm seeing is I have the ability to make a ton of fuel, but it doesn't seem like I have my, my empties aren't getting back to back to the fuel depot quick enough. So I wonder if I just need to make more empties. Like how many are in there? None. Um and this takes crap, what did this take? Iron? Is it iron? Is it copper? What is this? What is all that? Okay, what are, what are you set to? Iron. Okay, so... Do I have iron on me? Iron. I have a ton of iron on me. Alright, we're going to do like a quick little... Build a bunch of iron. We're, get, we're just going to make a ton of empties. And they're all going to feed into there. But you know what? That'll work for now. That will work. We just need to get some empties into the system and get more fuel going. Because we have the resin production. We're just not having the fuel production. So that, that should help, I hope. Uh, yeah, see, there's some fuel going. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I guess we do have quite a bit of fuel already built. Already made. What is the holdup then? So there seems to be other problems. Okay, let, let, let's go down. Uh, I, I need to investigate all this. And there's the problem right there. No power. That's literally all it is. So, how did I have power go into there? It's probably some like super easy way. Let's just do this. Um... Now you know what? I'll just I'll just do this because this is barely getting used anyway right now. We'll do that, 
and then I will again throw that on there and we'll hit it right there. And that should get the whole system going again because we have plenty of fuel. It just wasn't transmitting. And there we go. Okay. So now there's fuel going in the system. It should be loading into the elevator any minute now. I I any minute now. Well, no, no, no. That that's fine. There we go. Okay. Fuel system's back online. <laughs> As if I needed more stuff to go wrong this episode. This is going to be quite... Th this is turning into quite the episode. All right. Back down to the cold caverns fighting the, the cryoplasm. There we go. Just wanted to verify that it is working, and it is, in fact, working. Uh, we don't have a lot in the in reserve, and by not a lot, I mean we have nothing in reserve. But the batteries seem to have worked a little bit. Just waiting for another drop to come in. But the turbines seem to be going, so that's that's promising. They're transmitting all of their uh, power. Okay. So as long as that stuff doesn't stop, then we're in much better shape. Uh, this is also going down, which means we just... The fuel isn't getting down here fast enough. We might have to upgrade these lifts to bulk. Alright, well, 76. That ain't bad. And it looks like it's starting to distribute, so... Empty's coming out. Alright, so the system's going to eventually kick back on. I think we've got the fuel situation kind of taken care of. Yeah, the fuel the fuel is coming out slowly but surely. All right, that's fixed. So everything should be getting back up to speed. How are we looking over here? God, that's so scary. That's that's just, that is crazy to me. It's going to be quite a fight. All right. Uh, I'm going to finish taking care of this, and then well, I'll bring you guys back. All right. I think this is going to have to be the last update. We had another huge surge of cryo, as you can see, and it got really deep in the base. So I, I don't think I'm going to be able to progress that fast right now. Uh, we have about... What is this? Let's see here. 312. So we're only 200 freeze on away from doing the... Uh, getting the improved drill but if you look if you look at the map we are just getting smoked by cryoplasm so i'm gonna call this an episode uh, i'm gonna have to spend quite a bit of time fighting all this back you know i'm putting like random dazzlers wherever i have the power just to try to get stuff going so uh I, i'm gonna call an episode here let me know how you guys think i should deal with this because uh, this is getting crazy. You know, we, we are starting to make some progress over here. We're starting to beat it back a little bit. Uh, over here, the same thing. And then while I was doing all this, I guess I didn't realize, but I got attacked over here. So, yeah, and it looks like, you know, my lifts are stuck. Like, I'm going to have to dig things out. Luckily, it didn't work its way into my uh, my smelting over here. So, that's a positive sign, but I'm going to need to, you know, fight this stuff off. So, uh, thank you guys so much. Let me know what, what I should do. Uh, can't really make bombers cause I don't have the sulfur yet. So yeah, gonna be fun. I think I'm going to have to kind of reevaluate how I do all this defense. Um, kind of not working. I wasn't, I guess I wasn't just prepared for the, the surge that we're getting. So on that note, guys, thank you so much for hanging out and, uh, we'll see you in the next one.